rolling with its old man stories. And I'm here with my sweetheart and sister. Eh? Mary. Mary Jane. Mary Jane, yes. And it was, before it was Mary Jane White. And you gained one position in the alphabet and became a Willis from the age to I nine. actually went down. You did? Yeah, backwards. Backwards? Oh. H is ahead of an I. I know it. So you were got <laughs> further back in the in the in, in the in the classroom. Yes, I had to sit further back. Further back, yes. At least I wasn't a Z. <laughs> <sighs> I wanted to marry. M or a C. That's right. Maybe an A, huh? So you get right up front. That no, I didn't want to be the first one. Didn't want to be the first, huh? No. Okay. Sometimes that's a bad deal, too. Okay. <laughs> well, Richard's middle name. Okay. I guess lower in the alphabet. That's good. But he couldn't use it anywhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't put people by their middle names anywhere, did they? No, they didn't. And we're up at Mary's place, and I, I have a green screen here because we did. They have a, they have a, the most spectacular, beautiful home, and I couldn't get any place where they. I didn't have light in back. I was going to pick up light, so we're doing it on a green screen, and I'll just fill wonderful places in their home in the background. Well, that's going to be really nice. Yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. And you're going to tell me about quilting. Oh, because you are a quilting person. Yeah, yeah. demagogue. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you still have your quilting machine? I have a special sewing machine. I don't have a quilting machine. Hey, I thought you had a big thing no, that you stretched no, out. No. Did you have one of the Dimmerich build ones? I did have one, yeah. That was actually too hard. It's better for me to use a round hoop. Oh, okay. And then just do it like with that. Oh. Instead of this great big huge thing that they used to use, but that was usually for a, a multitude of women, and we all sat together and talked and you know enjoyed each other, and they would be all over it, quilting in different positions. Oh. But when you're a single quilter, it's easier just to have a big hoop. The big hoop, huh? I have a huge hoop. Oh wow! I use. Now, I hardly yeah. hand quilt anymore. Most people machine quilt now. They they have a huge machine that's run either by a computer or by themselves, of course, artists. And you do that too? No, I do a very bad job considering I put my quilt together so specially and then I can't quilt it well enough to continue. Mary is so one I of those people that out. is an artist mm -hmm. and, and yet she always is so, just, it's like shy and she is phenomenal at yeah, doing I, I really you're, you're ahead it. of the club here in, in Yes, I was the Ely. president in, in, in um, Ely, the president of our club. We have uh, 64 members, so it's a lot. Of, <laughs> How many were they in the big city of St. Paul? There was no one. I was all by myself. You were, there wasn't there a club? There's a club, but it's all for retired people. Yeah. I, mean, I was working at and the time. And it was time. small, too, wasn't it? No, it was quite large. Oh. But, but it, it was not, I wasn't able to join. <laughs> you weren't old enough. <laughs> no, I wasn't old enough. I had to go to work. Oh, uh, okay. So so here you have, in the little hibbing, you have 64 quilters. Yeah. Whoa. So how was it controlling that kind of a mob? Well, I think <laughs> when you have people that are interested in the same thing you are interested in, that's pretty cooperative. Now tell me about this, I, you just told me something brand new about you sort of get in a group and you, you all work on a different part of the same quilt? Yeah, the same quilt, right. And just sit and, and, just sit and women talk? Mm -hmm. Whoa. It's really nice. What are you talking about? Well, we talk about our husbands. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, yes you do. Because <laughs> I know what us guys talk about. <laughs> talk about everything. It's kind of fun. And nobody is, uh, everybody is very... Uh, kind and nice and we don't have anybody that's you know 
contrary, if you want to say. Oh, you don't have anyone on a 64? No. Wow. It's surprising. I think quilting people are very mild, um, gentle people instead of aggressive and argumentative or whatever. Not like Whoa, that at all. Oh, I bet. Yeah. You know, you don't have any crabby people. It's very relaxing. It's a relaxing hobby. Oh, okay. And how many how many can work on one uh, quilt at, at one time? Well, it depends upon if we're all making blocks with our sewing machine. We can get any number. We can have lots of people. Like how many are a lot? 30? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Wow. You know, they would be, uh, we would have had that many, probably a 15, probably half. But uh, we, uh, for our, um, we have a, a quilt that we sell, and we all work on that. So quite a few make a block, and we put them all together. Oh, well, so I know. So it's a lot easier. Well, we get a quilt done faster that way. Well, but by the way, I know a charity that that uh, that would absolutely love the quilting. They have a they have a quilting uh, thing every year, and it's over, it's at the. Uh, Seminole Indians in Oklahoma. Oh, nice. And, and uh, Sheila is the one that runs the, the quilting, uh, you know, the auction. Uh -huh. And uh, if, any, if, he, if, he want, if anyone wants to contribute to it, I, I can talk to Sheila and, oh, and have you because nice. it helps the Indian kids and it's really cool. Well, we do a lot of charity work. We do um, the quilts of valor for soldiers that are wounded in the and the conflicts that we are having all the time. Oh, wow. And then we do children at risk. That means children that have, um, are taken away from their parents or have lost their parents or all kinds of different things socially. And we make uh, blankets and quilts for them. And then we do it for uh, hospice patients. We make uh, quilts of comfort for them. So we have three charities that we do. And we give... Uh, money to uh, for quilting for uh, prison women that are in prison oh, so they have supplies and stuff like that so they can learn to quilt and get a kind of a craft maybe uh, you know calm their emotions too do they have a prison around here or do you do it no prison? it's it's off I, I don't know exactly where it is but it's from the lake superior somewhere okay so it's, it's for a women. Duluth area yeah mm -hmm. For just for women. Oh, we're sitting way up here in Ely. Minnesota. You fell in love, Rich fell in love with it because you canoed up here, didn't you? Yes. And I, I fell in love with it because I used to pick blueberries with my dad up here. Wow. We have a lot of blueberries. And my dad would always come up every year and we'd pick blueberries. Make blueberry pie, blueberry jam. Whoa. And so it's a good memory, you know, that I have. That is a nice memory. Do they still have a lot of blueberries? Right yes, here? this year was extremely good. In fact, some of my friends have brought me blueberries because I couldn't get out. Were they really big or something? No, they're very small, but they small. have much more flavor than the big ones that you buy commercially. Oh. Those are big ones, but they have no flavor. They really taste like blueberries, the, the little ones, the wild ones. Okay. That's what the bears live off of you. <laughs> That's right. That's you have a lot of bears around here. Yeah, so we have bears and wolves. And pretty nice. And, and deers that eat all of your... Garden this year. Yes. They're just terrible this year. Because they had a nice winter, and so they had two babies instead of just one baby. When you have a mild winter, you have two for some reason. <laughs> That's nature. So we got a multitude of little new deer. Deer, right, yes. Mama's teaching them uh, what to eat. That's right, and did you need to bring them right over to Mary's garden. Right. Very Mary, Mary, quite contrary. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sad looking out there. They haven't got my tomatoes yet though, so that's good. Well, you have those pretty protected, don't you? Yes, I have them up high so they can't get them. <laughs> You have to keep them up about six feet because they get on their hind feet and eat things. I bet they do. They, they're pretty little stinkers. They're pretty, they're, yeah, they, 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 they crawl under stuff too. I see them crawl under fences. Yes. You wouldn't jump think over, of course. Jump over, yes. <laughs> we have we have a niece in, in Washington State and she has exactly the same problem oh, with the deer. 
I don't know, we don't, uh, people are not hunting as much as they should be. <laughs> That's right, they're just, they're just really tough on the thing. Yeah, they kind of, uh, you need somebody out there eliminating a few. That's right, I can, I got, I got a, a bow and arrow. I can <gasps> yeah. Shoot one or two or Rich will help me skim it. Right, dear. Now, it's, it's not shooting them that I have a problem with. It's what you, it's 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 taking care of it afterwards. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Well, it's a lot of work. You got to figure out what to do with everything, you know. Yeah, a lot of people just you know throw it on the ground and let the wolves eat it or something. Well, that's true. You do have wolves here, don't you? Have you seen any? Oh yes. So mm -hmm. you see the wolves? Yeah. Wow. I did. I I did a couple years ago. I didn't know that you saw wolves. You never said anything. You well, we don't see them that much because they're very. Reclusive, you know, very, you know, timid. Right, reclusive type. Yes, right. So we don't really see them all the time, and I don't see bears all the time either, unless you kind of attract them. You have a bird feeder in the summer, and they they'll come to your house and take the bird feeder. Yeah, out. They, they, they want to share. They they say birds can share with them. Right, they, but they kind of wreck the bird feeder, so it's not yeah. sharing anymore. <laughs> it's a one-time <laughs> share. <laughs> they love sunflower seeds. Oh, I bet they do. Mm -hmm. I bet they don't sit and peel them open either. No, they eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Lick them up. <laughs> wow. And the chipmunks and the squirrels do too, so it's kind of kind of a waste of bird feed in the summer. Yeah. So sort of we just like do it in the winter when the bears are hibernating. Oh, is that oh okay. Now that's when the birds really need to get food. Yes, anyway. that's right. We also have a water thing that we keep warm so they can drink water too. Oh, the birds? Oh. Yeah. Wow. So we just, uh, I empty it, the ice out of it every morning and then put water in it and it stays warm till like 2 o'clock and then that's about the most time the birds are doing it in the morning anyway. Oh, okay. We do that and actually when it's really cold, taking baths in the water. It's oh, really wow. pretty funny. I thought they'd freeze their little birdie butts, but they don't. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, now you get to say Mary Willett's Old Men's Stories. Mary Willett's Old Men's Stories. Roland Willett's Old Men's Stories. Old Men's Stories. Give us one more day. <laughs>